Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a look for you at Kiddo Bunks by Disco Bed. Ever since we shared our review of our Hamptons nine person tent, I've had a lot of questions about this bunk bed system that we use. So I'm gonna turn the camera around in a sec here and give you a look at the different components, how you put it together, how you store it, and some different modifications that you can do with it. Now, I had planned to film this when we went camping, but our camping trips have all been canceled so far this summer. So I'm gonna do it here inside my house and hopefully it will suffice and give you a good look at it. So let's turn the camera around and get going. So this is what it looks like when you buy a kiddo bunk. There are two different beds and they each come in their own little carry case. I have them unzipped, so I'm gonna go ahead and open them and show you. And this is really great though for storing them because they're nice and long and thin and they have the awesome carry straps, which makes it easy when you need to move them. So here's a look at when you open each bag up. The piece that the kids actually sleep on, plus the little extra bonus part, just is right in the middle. I just moved them so you could see. These are the pieces that it comes with. So you'll see a little bit of difference right here and right here. So this is actually the top bunk. This is the bottom one. However, this can be used as a single bunk as well. But just notice when you get it that you should have these two separate pieces here. Everything fits really nicely into the containers or the bags. And again, these just go right in the middle, fold it and zip it closed. So my husband has very graciously volunteered to put them together so you can see how they are put together. So here is a look at it all put together and I apologize the lighting is not great. So these little add-ons here where the kids can keep things, they like to keep their water and flashlights. That can be um, just Velcro. So you can put them both like on the same side or we usually alternate one there and then one on this side here. I'll include the specs here so you can see some more information about it. But basically each bunk can hold 200 pounds and it's recommended for ages 7 to 12. So if you saw in our camping video, my husband and I have the regular disco beds which are longer, wider, and can hold a lot more weight. These are the kids ones. But clearly it saves a lot of space when you're camping when you go vertical instead of lying all the kids out on the ground and they love having their own little space. So just to give you an example, they look like they're in a coffin or something. But Katie is um, going to be six in a week, two weeks here, and Josh is 11, almost 12. So that kind of gives you an idea of the size. And again, I apologize for the lighting. So he's almost too long for it. When he's 12, he may be a little too long for it, but I know most people don't sleep like they're in a coffin either. <laughs> How do you guys actually sleep? Oh, yeah. I, I usually sleep on one of my You show sides. me? Yeah, they usually sleep more like that. So, do you guys like the camping beds? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I want to sleep in them. You want to sleep in it tonight? <laughs> now, the other option besides having them as like the bunk beds or individual beds is it can actually turn into a couch, which is pretty cool. So, I'm going to just change it up right now and I'll show you what that looks like. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to take the ends off and attach them here. And then you're going to pull this 
and this out and kind of let it go back that way towards the bottom. So as you lower it down, you just clip it, push it, so it's between here and this rail right here, like it's in there. And then you just pull this piece forward on both sides. And it becomes like a little couch, which is a pretty cool idea. We tend to keep it as bunk beds because our kids have their stuff on it too. But it is a neat idea if you're camping and you know, if you're hanging out inside the tent, it's raining or something, you do have that option as well. So hopefully that's given you a really good look at them and the different ways you can set them up and how we use them and kind of an idea of size as well for kid wise. If there is anything I missed though, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below or let me know if you've used one of these and what you thought of it. Otherwise, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.